Hello and welcome. This um, the Dover story. This is the teenage um, student girl who allegedly was raped by an Afghani uh, student immigrant. Who you know they're trying to generate the racial hate. I think with this story because the video is, is made uh, basically by a group of girls there who are talking about their friends. They don't, in a way, they, they think that it's not that serious in a way because they've let them boys come back into our school without an issue. So do you know if the girl that was uh, allegedly uh, assaulted is coming back? No, no, because she's frightened. Well, of course. She, she, she's traumatised. She's, she's terrified. As, as, as a community, we are terrified for ourselves. As and anyone for that girl. Like. Did it happen in the school? Yeah. Well, yes. yes. It did. Yes, and, and, and allegedly. And oh, nothing yeah. has been done about that. No, no, no one has took it into consideration that the boys would do it again. So, so the, uh, their main concern is us protesting. Yeah, here. their, their so main they, concern um, is us ca causing a riot. Basically. So they're and saying that there's no proof it happened in the yeah. school. Yeah. They're but too concerned really, about like skirts and yeah, bumpers. Yeah, they're, 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 we have too concerned about, about and our and and uniform, our attendance, the way we look, but they don't do anything about, about the boys. Style. So. You know, it's all very much, yeah, because um, I've had to look online about this because while well, I heard about it, but it's quite difficult to actually find a news article that's um, specifically about this particular case. But, um, have a look at this. This was all the tweets. So I found that these, uh, these tweets are all the ones that are uh, detailing the... Um, incident and the, the protesting uh, by the teenage girls uh, in Dover. The uh, Afghani teenager sexually assaulted a teenage girl student and the girl is now too traumatised to return to school. The school, in their infinite wisdom, has told the girls to dress differently to appease the foreign invading scum. And that is their own words, invading scum. Um, so you can look at it this way. It is very much generating, uh, trying to generate the racial hate and the stereotypes. If you look at the news stories, I can't find the actual story to do with Dover. And I have looked. There was nothing here uh, from last week. It is quite difficult. Um, however, I need to uh, really just put this in perspective because asylum seekers, and this is what they run about, the immigrants, the illegal people coming here, and of course they're generating the hate against them as well, it's nothing new. Here's a, uh, a story from 2nd of April 2010, so 14 years ago. Four Afghan asylum seekers have been arrested over claims that they sexually assaulted a 13-year-old girl in a public swimming pool. So, even 14 years ago, the news in the mail were reporting this, this particular action um, and trying to generate the hate. And again, this was in Kent. Obviously, Dover is in Kent, uh, which is where it currently is. So, I really, really find this very hard to, to actually not believe, because I, I do believe that she was raped, you know. That's a very traumatic event. But the whole of it, the whole background of it, bit bit dodgy, really, a bit dodgy. Especially with people's attitude towards immigrants coming in and obviously getting everything being given houses money benefits uh, phones food and a life when quite clearly Rishi Sunak is going to be allowing 12,000 of them to come here on a, on the basis of a 10 page form um, that does not seem right to me 
obviously we have the other issue that these people coming here could well be the next part of the plan and um, that's really all we can say about that for the moment as we're on YouTube uh, but this story yeah I, I do find it a bit dodgy and um, yeah that's it so have a good day